I am here off the coast of Panama where we just recovered what we believe to be the coffin of legendary explorer Sir Francis Drake, who was buried at sea over 400 years ago. Are you sure you want to be defiling your ancestors' remains like that? You make it sound so dirty. <laughs> Besides, thought you didn't believe me. Well, I did do my research, and apparently Francis Drake didn't have any children. Well, history can't be wrong, you know. For example, you can't defile an empty coffin. What the hell? Ah, <laughs> you devil. What is it? Come on, hold it up. Oh, no, 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 no way. Deal was for a coffin. That's it. Wait a minute. If my show hadn't have funded this expedition, hey, hey, you wouldn't have... You got your story, lady. Look, Mr. Drake, you signed a contract. <laughs> I have a right to see no, every single thing that... Could this... you hold that thought? Sully, uh, we got some trouble. Hurry it up. Okay, okay. What's going on? Uh, pirates. Pirates? Yeah, the modern kind. They don't take prisoners. At least not male prisoners. Wait, what are you talking about? Uh, sh shouldn't we call the authorities or something? Yeah, that'd be a great idea, but we don't exactly have a permit to be here. What? Yeah, so unless you want to end up in a Panamanian jail, we should probably handle this ourselves. But, well, what's worse? You obviously haven't been in a Panamanian jail. Do you know how to use one of these? Uh, yeah, it's like a camera. You just you point and shoot, right? Good girl. Here we go. How the hell they find us out here? Uh, these guys have been telling me for weeks. Thought I lost them. What'd you do to piss them off? Uh, it's kind of a long story.
under control until they blew up the boat. <laughs> you all right? Nothing that years of therapy won't fix. Well, if it isn't the beautiful and talented Elena Fisher. Flattery will get you screen time. Yeah, I'm more of a behind-the-scenes kind of guy. Victor Sullivan. Huh. <laughs> ah, for Christ's sakes. <sighs> what do you say we get out of here? before we attract any more attention. Well? A little present from Sir Francis. Ho oh, ho, oh, so you found the coffin. Wait a minute, is this what I think it is? <laughs> Drake's lost diary. He faked his death, just like I said, Sully. He must have been onto something big. Yeah, well, let's just keep that between us. Thanks for the loan, Mr. Drake. I think I've earned a look at that diary when we land. So look, when Drake sailed into the Pacific, he took the Spanish fleet completely by surprise. He captured their ships, he took all their maps, their letters, their journals, and he recorded everything in this diary. Uh-huh, so this... But when he got back to England, Queen Elizabeth confiscated all of his charts and logbooks, including this one, and then swore his entire crew to silence. Yeah, so this... You see, Drake discovered something on that voyage, Sully. Something so secret and so valuable, they couldn't risk it getting out. All right, Nate, just pretend for a minute that I don't really care about any of that stuff and cut to the chase, would you? <sighs> Man only interested in the climax. He must be a real hit with the ladies. Never had any complaints. Okay, then. I'll jump to the good part, just for you. Ho, ho, ho. Huh? El goddamn Dorado. He was onto something big, all right. Does it say anything else? Oh, so now you're interested, huh? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, no. Last page was torn out. I'm telling you, Sully. This is it. This is finally it. Yeah. Only... We got one little problem. Yes, that's what I said. It blew up. It sank. No, that's why we have insurance, right? Oh. Oh no, the camera? No, the camera's fine. Don't worry about the camera, no. Still as good as new. Sully, the girl can hold her own. You should have seen her. Fine. You go on out there and you tell her, we just found the lost city of gold. Maybe her producer can get it on the air tonight. Oh, come on. Nate, do you trust me? More or less. <laughs> good. Because we're going to have every two-bit scumbag in the world racing us to this treasure unless we cut her loose right now. You're a real gentleman, Sully. I know. It stinks. She'll get over it. No, I don't... I don't care for over-budget. I mean, do you realize that this could be, like, the biggest story of the year? <laughs> Hi. No, I don't trust him, okay? That's why we need to move fast. So just get me the camera crew, and I promise you that... Son of a bitch. Hey! Should have seen that one coming. Ugh. I'm not as young as I used to be. <laughs> uh, yeah, you weren't too old for that little barmaid in Lima, were you? Ha! <laughs> well, that was different. Although, I must admit, equally as strenuous. <laughs> well, hang in there, old-timer. We're just about there. You know, this reminds me. I ever tell you about the time I pawned a phony 16th century Santo off on Pablo Escobar? <laughs> uh, risky move, but by the time he figured it out, I was... Nate, are you even listening to me? Hanging on every word. Uh, why waste my breath? You really 
think Francis Drake came all the way up here, huh? We're an awful long way from England. Well, I don't get it. According to this, we're right on top of the mark. Maybe you're not reading that thing right. Let me see it. No, this is the place. There's nothing here, Nate. Another goddamn dead end. Easy, Sully. Just relax. Let's take a look around. Like trying to find a bride in a brothel. <laughs> oh no. This is more like it. What do you think this is, Incan? Nah, it's older than that. Like two thousand years older. Huh. Anything? Nothing yet. Whoa. Be careful up there. Hey, there's something funny about the ground down there. Hollow. We gotta find a way to smash through this. Uh. 